Most of the time, I have to look far and wide to find hidden treasures, but sometimes they come right to my doorstep. Well, at least the pieces of the puzzle do. Hey, Matt. Hey, what are you doing? Where can I rent a truck? What? What does he need a truck for? It doesn't make any sense. We, we got two of them in the parking lot. No, I need a rental truck. You wouldn't believe this package I just got. Check this out. I got letters, I got pictures, and I got a key. Bring cash. And don't drive your truck. Cash in a rental truck? Sounds way too sketchy to me. Buyer beware. I've seen that look on Matt's face before. He doesn't trust the letter, he doesn't believe in the letter, but he knows one thing, I always find the best stuff. So what's the lead? Well, the lead's on a 1910 Excelsior Belt Drive V-Twin. This thing is rare. How rare is this bike? I've only heard of one or two in the world. Founder Frederick Roby designed the V-Twin in 1909 to compete with Harley-Davidson and Indian. Excelsior produced its first V-Twin in 1910. By 1911, Excelsior was enjoying immense success, but Roby had incurred a massive debt. Roby was forced to sell the company to bicycle magnate Ignis Schwinn in July of the same year for $500,000. Where is it? I don't know. Kansas. Whose is it? That's the million dollar question. I can certainly understand why these folks would want to remain anonymous having so many rare bikes. You know, the less exposure, the less risk. If it's a 1910 twin, that, it could be the missing link. What's in the barn? All new season, Tuesday at 10 on Velocity.